this sector strategic development plan uh, helps to indicate what we are going to do as a sector over a period that is in line with the NDP2. Much more importantly, we've also aligned our sector development plan to our vision of 2040 of transforming our country from peasantry to a middle to an upper middle income country. Science and technology is one of the fundamentals that will help us harness the opportunity that we have to achieve the vision 2040. You cannot rely entirely on public funding, on government funding. You may go beyond to consider attracting private sector funding. You may go beyond to consider getting partnership for funding outside the country, including development partners and, and others. But for you to do that, you need to have in place a clearly well thought out innovation funding framework. And that's what we have done. That framework is now ready. We are prepared to go to cabinet to have it uh, considered by cabinet and approved. And within it, we are also going to, to have in place a legal framework linked to the framework. I'd like to take this opportunity to honor the ministry for your commitment to making science, technology, and innovation a real catalyst for economic development in Uganda. And to thank the ministry for giving USA this opportunity to support you in partnership. We all know that innovation drives economic growth and can really raise wages through increased productivity. It makes technology more affordable for Ugandan businesses and households, and it leads to greater productivity and competitiveness in the workplace, and to greater leisure time and greater quality leisure time at home and with family.